Well, a popular Schenectady diner opened its doors this morning for the first time since that terrible crash this week that forced it to close. Several people injured when a car went plowing right through the front wall just before lunch. Our Emma McCloy has more on how employees who witnessed that crash are doing today. It must have been a terrible experience, and I was glad I wasn't sitting in the restaurant. Ellen Snowden showed up with her grandkids today to support Blue Ribbon Diner after Tuesday's awful accident. It must have been frightening to have the car come at you. Four people were injured when police say an elderly driver backed up too quickly, slamming his car into a 72-year-old woman who was standing outside the restaurant, pinning her between the car and building. Three other people inside the diner were injured when the car blew through the front wall and inside the dining room packed with people. The driver was also hurt. Today, a piece of wood covers the spot where the car tore through. I heard about it and I was so depressed and now I'm glad that I'm back. The diner has been a staple in the community for decades. In 37, 38 years in business that we've been here, I think this is probably one of the worst things that has happened to us. Some people are still reeling from seeing the victims suffer. She was in the room when the accident happened and uh, She's okay, but she was a little shook up. The owner says the community outpouring is getting them through. We just have our numbers of phone calls coming in constantly. We appreciate that and their support. Ann McCloy, CBS 6 News.